happening? I'm finally answering these ask bin ask questions. Questions in the ask bin. Uh, it's been a couple of months, so for starters, terribly sorry to everybody. Uh, you guys have just been waiting on some of these for a too, just too long, just too long of a time, and I haven't gotten around to any of them. So, one, thank you for your patience, I appreciate it. Two, thank you for asking the questions. Here's what we're gonna do, uh, instead of responding to each individual one, um, on Tumblr, that would spam you guys and, and fill up your, your Tumblr feed. We're going to answer them all at once, here in this video. It'll be easy. Woo! Here we go! Why are all your comics so strangely relatable? I know what you mean. Uh, I, I always try to go for the relatable edge, you know, coming at, coming at, at an angle that, that really uh, get an idea that's that's relatable and, and everybody understands, you know, everybody gets it. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's why. In the portal gun slash wand comic, doesn't the portal guy have to now kill the other guy in order to properly use the wand? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Hi, I'm editor-in-chief from French infotainment website Topito, and I want to speak about your Tumblr. Can we use 10 of your comics for an article? We would speak about you in an introduction, slash credits, and conclusion. Thanks for your answer, Emma. So this is part of why I'm apologizing. Uh, questions like this. Sorry, I didn't get back to you right away. After this video, I'm putting up an email for direct contact, so you don't have to contact me through my ask bin. Also, this is an anonymous question, so... Yes? But I don't know how to get back to you. Just feel free to share it. Give me credit, whatever. You know how it goes. Are you real? <laughs> Am I real? Uh, um. Hey, Ice Cream. I'm a really big fan of your comics, and I've been wondering, is it possible if you can draw a comic of a kid bragging about I'm the fastest kid ever in front of others' kid, and then The Flash comes around super fast saying, nope, yes, it is possible for me to draw that comic. Unfortunately, no. I mean, I'm assuming you're asking it's a request to add to for me to draw a comic um no i won't but here's why drawing comics is an expression of my thoughts my daydreaming my kind of creativity and my imagination it's an extension of that if i start drawing comics based off of scripts that people give me it's no longer mine it's other people's i totally encourage you to draw comics yourself because that would be awesome just more comics out on the internet for people to enjoy but i do want to keep my comics mine as as much as i can one thing i will do though is prompts so if you have an idea, say, like, could you make a comic about X or Y or Z? I might make a quick one. I might do something neat. But when you give me a script to follow word for word, it's completely not my idea. And it's just drawn by me. And that's not as fun. The next question pretty much asks the same thing. So refer to question the last one. Can you make a comic about sex? Yeah, I can. Hello. Would you like to have sex? No, thank you. Okay. Maybe later. Yes, maybe later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Please learn about progressive enhancement. I shouldn't have to turn on JavaScript just to see images. Okay. Uh, kind of a strange question and request, but I can, yeah, I can do that. Progressive enhancement. Wikipedia progressive enhancement. Okay, here we go. Progressive enhancement. Progressive enhancement is the strategy for web design that emphasizes core web page content first. This strategy then progressively adds more nuanced and technically rigorous layers of presentation on top of the content as the end user's browser slash internet connection allow. The proposed benefits of the strategy are that it allows everyone to access the basic content and functionality of the web page using any browser or internet connection while also providing an enhanced version of the page to those with more advanced browser software or greater bandwidth. Oh, okay. I get that concept. I understand it. Next question. Oh, sorry apart from the bitching about progressive enhancement. I loved the comics. Great work. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seriously, though, if you're having an issue seeing the comics, I have no idea what the problem is. I'm just using Tumblr. If you can't access my comics, it's because there's an issue with Tumblr. It's Tumblr's fault. I don't know. Hopefully you can fix your issues soon. How long have you been on Tumblr? I actually just got on here, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's kind of a funny question. I've been on Tumblr for years. I have no idea how long it's been, but I used to I just follow like a ton of artists on a different account. And then this one has been five months, I want to say. What programs do you use to draw? Clip Studio, and that's it. I'm just going to throw this in because I'm sure somebody's going to ask it later. I used to use a, uh, a Wacom tablet that I no longer use, and I've lent to my sister, and now I'm using a Cintiq, the 13-inch version. And those are the things I use. Oh, that's it. Those are the two, one, two, comic. Would you rather choose a hover car or a hover bike? Well, I want to focus on the word you use, hover. We're not talking about flying cars or flying bikes. We're talking about hover ones, the ones that can fly, but only like 
for two or three feet off the ground, which are largely the same as just regular cars and bikes. I mean, if you think about it, the only thing that's different is the wheels. You're hovering, you're not rolling. So if you got in a car accident, it's largely the same. If you got in a car accident on a motorcycle or a hover bike, you have a lot smaller chance of surviving than if you did in a regular car or a regular hover car because you're surrounded by metal to protect you from things like other cars. Because the hover cars would still get the same benefits as the hover bikes, plus the added security of being encased in metal and glass, which sounds really dangerous when I say that out loud, but you know what I mean, I hope then I think I would have to go with a hover car for the added safety. Plus, I still wouldn't hydroplane, and that's great. I like that question, though. It's a good one. You forgot ghost with sexy legs. Oh, I did. You're right. Uh, here you go. This next question is in regard to the earbud tug comic. Pro tip. Thread your headphone cord through your shirt and extract earbuds from the neck hole. Drape far earbud over the back of your neck before putting earbuds in. No more dangling cords. No more earbuds dropping on the ground if they fall. Yeah, but you see, the biggest problem with this solution is that I'm lazy, and I won't do anything that takes me more than five seconds. Can you make a bodybuilder comic? I've already made one, but I can make another one right now. Hello. Do you want to go bodybuilding? Not right now, thank you. Okay. I will ask again later to see how you're feeling about bodybuilding. Okay, sounds good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, do you mind if I use your comics for a page on iFunny? They're amazing. You're amazing! Pretty much the same thing I said before. If you want to share my comics, anywhere on the internet go for it just be sure to include the uh the original link at the bottom of the comic because otherwise people think that you made it and it's really obvious why that's a bad thing i shouldn't have to explain that to you i'm also going to assume that you already knew that so go ahead why doesn't that guy have arms sometimes when i draw uh and people aren't doing anything with their arms i just won't draw them <laughs> it's weird i know but whatever I don't care. You know, now that I look at it, there weren't a lot of questions in here. Just a lot of statements. Also, a lot of people saying a lot of nice things. Here are the nice things that people said. Did you see yours? Thank you. Thank you for saying that nice thing. I actually do really appreciate it. I see all of these. And when you say something nice, just like, I love your comics, or that one made me laugh, it makes me feel really good. And you did, and that means you did a nice thing. So thanks. That's cool of you. Anybody else who thought it but didn't say it, that's also fine. <laughs> also, thank you for thinking that. I just appreciate that you guys enjoy the comics. I just want to thank everybody for hanging around. I'm going to post more videos. I'm going to post more comics. I'll answer more questions when they come in. You guys are great. Stay cool. If you want to know when the next video is going to come up, you can follow my Twitter or you can subscribe here. See ya!